Hello, my name is Derek Lowers, Director of Control Systems at Everts. I'm here today to talk to you about the concept of orchestration and what that means. Orchestration is the coordination or pulling together of elements to produce a desired effect. Typically, this was looked at in a small scale, within a facility, few devices, and within limited scope. Even if it was IP or SDI or hybrid, it was still seen as you know, a couple devices here and there that we pull together. With today's current environment, this has expanded. We've now moved from just a local set of few resources to now multiple locations pulling in content or assets and resources to even tapping into the cloud to provide the same level of experience or interaction that we had seen previously in a facility. In order to do all of those things, that's where an orchestration system comes in, to pull those elements together, to make that complexity of a larger scope and requirements to something as simple as I have an event at 7 p.m. and I need to execute with these assets or resources. The way we look at orchestration, we look at it from the perspective of routing, signal chaining, multi-viewing, high res, low res encoding, storage allocation, transcode, capture, playback, IP network and bandwidth, pathing, redundancy, user interfaces, tally and even metadata insertion or, or content archiving. All of these are the things that we typically use within the industry. And now we move these to something that we can orchestrate, something that can, as an event is set up, pull together those pieces that we need. What does this look like overall? Well, each of them become a service, a service that can be orchestrated. So we, we step away from the, the physical elements of it and think of it as you know, services. I need to uh, have an encode service or a decode service or a transcode or record, a playout and streaming, um, UI elements. So each of those become services or service blocks that we think about from orchestration side. And all of this becomes as an initiated request. Looking at it from, I have an event at 7 p.m. Eastern time and I need to execute this and pull together all of those services that we've talked about. For this event at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, I need an encode uh, service, I need a decode service, I need a multi-view. And all of this, again, from the orchestration side, pulls it together, removes the complexity of trying to figure out what assets are available and at what time and bring it together so that it really can meet that user intent of what I need at this time. What else needs to be considered? So we've created our software service blocks or our software elements that we need to do as part of our event. This moves into ad hoc. It's great, I've got it uh, programmed, I've got it set up. Now with an ad hoc event, how do I handle that? So an orchestration system needs to be able to look at what's provisioned, look at the new request and see where that fits within the available resources. If the resources are not available, to see if it can go out and request something from another location or from the cloud itself. Also to take into consideration is extending events. I have an event that's going longer, I need that asset or resource for longer than it was originally booked and be able for the system to look and see if this is available, not available, or be able to bump another um, upcoming event to a different resource to allow the current event to be extended. Also looking at it from the perspective of conflict resolution. We have a, a booking that requires the same resource, present that out and say we have a problem here there is a conflict and be able to present options to the user to say, oh, I can pick a different type of device or a different type of use to resolve that conflict. And then first and foremost is the resource allocation, determining what is available, how it's being allocated, and really optimizing those needs based on the event or request that's coming in. And then finally, device maintenance, knowing that if a device goes offline, being able to reference that, provide alternatives to still fulfill the request. So these and all of these type of topics have to be considered from an orchestration system to provide that combination or that organization of multiple elements into a single desired effect. For a more in-depth look about Magnum and how it accomplishes this orchestration and these various services, please join us at www.everts.com or contact your local service rep for more information. Thank you.